Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Guess I'm just kind of doing vlogs just back to back. But anyway, um, it's the boss lady here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, glad to have you tune in today. Now, when you see this, it won't be Tuesday. So, welcome. Good morning. How you doing? Good evening. Good afternoon. And all those good pleasantries. All right. So, I just did, did a little something different with the hair. Pinned it up. And got it whew, coming to the front. Of course, since it's so high, it connects to the top of the car. I don't know. I might go in and uh, pull the rest of this because it's only half up, and then the rest of this is just kind of out. And so, since it's got like these little curls right here, I might just pull it all the way up. I don't know. We'll see. Gotta go. Whew. So, the reason why I turn on the camera because it's going at 8 30, y'all. So, boss lady already behind because I'm 15 minutes behind schedule um oh and these little y'all undergarments I swear for goodness like whoo baby invest in your undergarments invest in your undergarments invest 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 so I'm gonna take it old school okay so you know how if you had that good great big mama big great Medea Medea okay they would tell you baby Invest in your undergarments. Baby, you a little extra lovely, so I'm gonna need you to rein it in. Tighten it up, you know what I mean? So, um, I can't remember, somebody had made a comment, uh, it was a while ago, a couple videos back saying, I really like how you have so much confidence about yourself. Um, you know, about your size, whatever. You know, at the end of the day, this is what God has blessed me with. And I'm not going to disrespect myself or disrespect my Lord and Savior by being, you know, nasty-minded, nasty mouth about my appearance. God made me this way. If he didn't want me to be this way, I wouldn't be this way. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about my exterior right now. So, because, you know, there's a lot of folks, oh, I got to get on this workout regimen and I got to, you know, be a pencil. I already told you, boss man don't want no pencil, baby. He want all of this, okay? He just want it healthy. So that's what I work on. I work on my heart health, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. But I'm not, oh, let me, I gotta be pencil thin. No. And honey, as long as they sell clothes in my size, I'm doing just fine. And as long as I can find them for a deal, we all good. But, back to the undergarments. So, if you have, like I said, a big mama, grandmama, nanny, um, granny, as I'm called, grandma, grandmother, Madea, Madea, because there is a Madea, that's M-U-H-D-E-A-R, or a Madea, M-A-D-E-A. Okay, if you got one of those from back in the day, I'm hoping and praying that they told you, baby, invest in your undergarments. <clears throat> now don't don't think that I haven't invested. It's just the particular undergarments I got on don't actually go with this dress ensemble today. Um and so that's what I'm saying, invest in your undergarments. And I was in such a rush and such a pain to get out the door that when I realized that, oh, these ain't the right ones, yeah, it was too late. Because it's 8.32 and Boss Lady got to be at work at 9 o'clock. And where's Boss Lady going? Y'all can tell by the exterior. You know, the uh, background of, of the window. I'm going to get coffee. So, and I'm going to go quick. And Mama, I can't talk today. Got to get going. I'll text you later. So, but yes, honey, invest in your undergarments. If you are extra lovely and you need a little bit of tightening up and sucked in or whatever, invest in you some Spanx. Invest in a nice, a nice, expensive undergarment, you know, to hold your second in, give you that hourglass figure, mm, baby. Now, let me tell you something. When it's summertime, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Look, let them get whatever body you're giving, okay? Because in the summertime, when it's like 80 plus degrees, I'm going to tell you, boss lady ain't putting on no Spanx, no waist trainer, no Lycra, Lycra, whatever it's called. I'm not putting it on. I'm not. Mm-mm. 
not to be hold chair please so like the dress i got on today the dress is very flowy now i have a few different types of undergarments i have a full-on spank that i don't have on right now i have the spank shorts i have the spank panty i got the full one piece you know um and then they have these other panties i forgot what they're called but it's like it's a panty it's not spanx though but it is sort of lame brand it goes from you know your derriere all the way up to underneath your breast very lovely panty that particular panty um i really like because it does it holds your honey and i was like oh i need a couple because matter of fact when i bought them i bought two because i said yeah because it's not like it's a penny that you wear all the time. It's only when you're wearing certain things. But like this particular dress I got on today, it's one of those flowing dresses. So it's not form-fitting. But you know, when I need to have on some form-fitting, yeah, I got the proper attire. So anyway, but yeah, so the, <laughs> you know, and then you have your nice little soft panties. Um, What do you call those? Uh, I don't even know what the material is. Mm, it's not a cotton panty and then you have like your cotton panties. I love cotton panties because they you know But um, every now and then you gotta have the little soft ones And so today I should have had on cotton and not soft. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say <sighs> So yes invest in your undergarments ladies invest in your undergarments because you know what your undergarments is what makes your clothes fit nice It's what makes your clothes fit and swing and whatever and don't get me wrong the undergarments I got on Yeah, this dress is swinging <laughs> Okay, it's swinging, popping, and dropping. But I should have wore cotton and not soft. I don't know what the the material is. It's like a soft cotton, but I should have wore the regular cotton today. But that's all right. That's all right. It's gonna be okay. Oh Lord, somebody part of my spot. No, but I wish you'd get out my way so I can get my coffee because I'm running late. I'm running late. I'm running late. I'm running late. Anyway, y'all, so that's what I wanted to chit-chat with y'all about today because I was like, oh, Lord, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody about to hit your ugly truck, let me tell you. And you should have pulled up to begin with. How you going to be in a parking space and not even pull it all the way in? Making it hard for those like me. But guess what? She in there. Why? Because she's a boss. Speaking of boss, y'all see my little barrette up there? I got two of them and broke the one this morning. I was hot, y'all was hot. Oh, Lord, so I got to fix that when I get home and get my little nice little, uh, what you call it, hot glue. Yeah, and get that going. What I need to take inside? I just need ice, get my coffee. Mama paying for coffee today. Thank you, Jesus, praise God, hallelujah. All right, what time is it? I got to be in and out in five minutes. It's 836. All right, I'll be back. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Whew. That was that young Dollar Tree uh mask right there, child. Woo wee. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear that. I was so cute yesterday, and I had my um y'all. If y'all saw that vlog, I had this mask on to match my top. Oh, the hold on. Whew. And um, but one thing I noticed. If the elastics are like this, if they're rounded and not flat like this, I can't wear the mask because it does something to my ears. It's like there's a pressure point that it lays on and it really, really bothers me. So, come on, lady. Um, so, yeah, I can't wear those. So, I was really cute, you know. I was like, oh, you know, I was all matching and looking how cute. Baby, I had to hurry up and run to the truck and grab me a different mask because I was like oh uh, uh that ain't gonna work not today so and I I almost want to see if I can either because I'm trying to think let me see how it look because I know you can probably have somebody like take the things out oh okay see how these are in this is why they hurt because it's an elastic tie and someone cut it and then sewed it in there so it's, you know, I don't know if you, you can't really tell. But anyway, because a lot of the other ones, the people are putting the full elastic in the, the side. Which, I mean, it's a very nice quality when I have a yellow one like this. But I won't wear them, you know, because I thought, well, maybe it's just that one day. But mm, -mm. And even Miss Pina, she was like, Mom, it just keeps coming off. So I was like, yeah, okay, we ain't going to do that. So, um, 
so that's one thing too i've been kind of watching like when i do get um my free mask now i try to look to see what the elastic look like because if it's if it's like that i'd be like no thank you you know because it hurts it, i mean it's like i put it on and originally it fits fine but you know we gotta wear our mask pretty much all day at work honey i can't be up there in pain and then you know i got my glasses on too and child it's a whole hot mess lord Okay, I'm about to take this piece and pin it up this way because this, this little hangage right here, I, I ain't feeling it. Anyway, so another reason why I turned on the camera was for my ladies who like to get pedicures and you know how your toes polish and stuff like that. Ooh, ladies. Now, if you are extra lovely like boss lady, don't call yourself going to paint your toes when you are running late. Honey, I already was running late, but I wanted to wear sandals. And I haven't worn sandals since sometime last year. Well, no, I didn't even wear sandals last year because, you know, my knee was jacked up. So I didn't even get to wear my little wedges that I got on today. And they're cute, too, by the way. Speaking of wedges, let me stop right there. So when I get to the store... Um, mama said, oh, you look cute today. I said, thank you. And, you know, but that's mama. Mama always, you know, going to come in her girls when her girls look good. Well, then this older lady um, who was coming into the store, she was like, you look real cute today. Mind you, I ain't, I ain't never met this lady a day in my life. She might know my mama, but she don't know me. Honey, I was like, thank you. But then I was thinking, okay, she's an older lady. And when I say older lady, you know, she's a gray hair and everything. And I'm like, do I look cute because I look old and reserved? Or is my dress just cute? Because I, I believe my dress is just cute, honey. But anyway, I'm going to make it work and do what it do. So, back to the story. Okay, so I told y'all I was running late. Because what I was doing was I was trying to design something this morning. Why I went to 8 o'clock, 8.02 to design something when I knew I needed to be out the door at 8.15? Beyond me. But... I was like, I could just wear my tennis shoes, you know, my little Gilligan's or whatever. But then I was like, but this is a cute dress. I can't be wearing it. I need to, you know, and then, then I thought, well, I could wear my little flats with my big bows on them. And I was like, eh, I'm not feeling that either. Let me just go ahead and put on my sandals. Well, my toes have already been, you know, cut and cleaned up and shaped up and whatever. Um, but, you know, I haven't been to the salon and had that good old young pedicure. But my feet look good, honey. Because I got me some good body butter and oils and things to keep my feet soft. Because, you know, hmm. Anyway, if you can't take care of your own self without going to a salon, something wrong. You should be able to do what they do and better. You just go there for convenience and pampering. Okay? So, I was like, I know I got some new polish because I had bought new polish one of my couponing trips. And I had this little gold, gold and clear uh, glitter polish. So, I had to throw that on real quick because I really didn't want no color. Because, you know, if you got color and you're rushing, you're going to mess your toes up all the time. So, I'm up here, and I said, well, either I can put my shoes on, polish my toes, or I can just keep my shoes off, polish my toes. I said, well, we need to get out the door. We, meaning me, need to get out the door. So, let me just go ahead and just polish these toes real quick. Okay, it's 846. I'm up by the house. It normally takes me about a good five, seven minutes to get to, job, to the job from here. So, we should be there. Well, it's 847 now. We should be there before 9 o'clock. Anyway, so I don't put my shoes on right. And I said, how many? Here's me. I'm literally negotiating with myself and my toes. How many toes are showing right now in these shoes? Because that's the only toes I'm going to paint because I got to get out the door. Mind you, you got five toes, right? But one of my toes, my baby toe is all, it's weird. So that toe never gets painted. So normally I only get four toes painted each foot anyway. And I ain't about to show y'all because to me, I'm going to tell you right now feet are ugly except for babies i'm just saying that's the one thing on the body that i'm just like oh lord could we have been a little cuter with that because i don't like feet and i don't care you can have the prettiest of toes and i still be like ew i just feet are nasty to me so anyway but i know i need them to walk so babe i'm gonna you know do what i gotta do so i put the shoes on and i was sitting down and instead of me turning on the light i'm trying to get going instead of me turning on the light i'm painting you might as well say in the dark and so, I painted one foot, but I only got three toes. Then I painted the other foot, and I got four. And I said, wait a minute. 
If I got four on this foot, I need to get four on the other foot. So then I'm moving my foot around trying to catch a little bit of the sunlight or whatever gray light coming into the house because I didn't want to turn the lights on. And so I'm trying to pay my toes. Y'all, it was a whole hot mess. But I will tell you, from, from looking down right here, toes looking cute, okay? <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. I'm just saying, you got to do what you got to do. You can't be up here trying to prep and prop. And, and honey, like I said, if you can't do it at home, okay? And since you're going to no, no salon, you should still be able to handle your business at home. Only person that I give a pass to is my baby. And that's because her hair is down to her butt. And I'm just like, you know what? As opposed to making her figure it out. No, we'll just take you on to the salon and mama will handle the business. And if your mama can, your sister can. So that's just how it is. You know, that's how she always been ever since she was a baby. Miss Penny ain't never had to comb my hair. It might be detrimental later on in life, but as long as God give me breath and make an income, she will be at the salon, period, till she decides to cut her hair. Once she cuts her hair, Lord, I don't even want to think about it, but if she decides to cut her hair, then she'll learn how to comb it. So anyway, but yeah, I had to give y'all those, those tidbits, you know, I had to give y'all, throw those little nuggets out at y'all, because you know, some people, some people are my age, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, and don't know stuff like that. Like, you know, you got to invest in your undergarments. You don't just go to Target and be like, I'm getting this. Yeah, okay, you're going to look a hot mess. And the only reason why I know these things is because I did have a nanny who was extra lovely. And she was like, uh-uh, you don't go out the house without your girdle on, a good fitting bra on. You know, your clothes got to be a certain way on you. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I learned so much from my nanny. Mm. And it's funny how I'm still like teaching folks to this day. I'm like, honey, just get you a nice good Spanx. I call them Spanx. Now, everything is not Spanx that I have, but I just that's what it is. Spanx, girdle, whatever. Because I remember getting married, honey, and I had this nice good girdle, baby. But when they came time to pull that monkey off, I said, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me do that. Because it was a whole lot to get up out of there. It was um, it was control top. It went from the, the derriere all the way up. Oh, my baby here. And it's 850, y'all. Look at God. Look at God, okay? But um, the girdle I had for my wedding, it was it, just a panty, but it went all the way up to your breast. And uh, not only was it, you know, like the lycra or whatever it's called. Whatever, I don't even know what that is. You know, spandex, whatever. And it had the bone in it. Oh, my God, y'all. It had the bone, the hook, and that. When I tell you, it was a whole hot mess. But guess what? Boss Lady was so cute. I mean, cute. Do you hear me? I was cute. And uh, couldn't nobody tell me nothing in my dress. Everywhere we went, because, you know, we went and busy folks. And, oh, my God, you look so pretty, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, honey. And I had on a good, decent, expensive bra. Yeah. I made sure my stuff was ready and huh, I look good. So invest in your undergarments, ladies. Don't be ashamed to be able to take care of yourself at home. I know a lot of folks with the whole quarantine was very upset. They couldn't go to the salon, get their nails done. Now I do want to get my nails done, but you know, like I uh, said before, you know, I wear glue-ons in a minute and I can switch up my style as many times as I want. For a fraction of that cost, okay? So don't be ashamed. You got to do what you got to do to take care of business. Especially because now, I was sitting here thinking, I was looking at my shoes. And I said, I'm glad that I got these shoes when I did. Because these particular shoes came from Payless. And honey, now, I'm like, what am I going to do? So I got to take care of my shoes, honey. So I can find me a new store that I can get me some, um, some more shoes. I'm trying to think which... I think I'm going to wear my Kenta cloth. I can breathe through that one a little easier. You know, when you sit up in there all day long, folks coming in, yeah. It don't match, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah. So, thank y'all for riding with me today. I will see everybody in a new video. Bye!